Hello everybody, long time no speak. I've spent a long time um, in the past moving my company somewhere else and now I'm set up again and building stuff. Uh, so here I'm going to talk about the um, integration of my uh, new 4-camera uh, CCU controller uh, with the Blackmagic Smart Scope. Um, as you can see here I have a, um, um, a Smart Scope with the waveform uh, vector uh, or test on the left and a picture on the right. Um, I'm currently just using a GVG control panel here to um, um, to switch as you would normally do. Um, is it dissolve? Let's see a wipe. There you go. There's a wipe. Um, and um, this is basically set up as a, um, a CCU um, position um, and this will control four cameras uh, as you'll see in other videos that will post but here I'm just talking about um, using um, this uh, controller with the smart scope. Now the first thing I want to um, just quickly show you is that um, using, using the smart scopes you have the ability of having borders around the edges and as you can see there there's a red border now the way um, this controller was set up is that any of the cameras that you have uh, allocated to the four positions that you have here uh, if any of them are online or on air it will generate a, a border a red border indicating that it's on air now at the moment I cut to something that's not allocated which is that one there the border goes off uh, if you hit, a pre hit one of your selections on the preview bus, obviously there will be a nice little green border, um, thanks to the unitary you know, designs of um, Blackmagic. And so here I am selecting. I've got I've got this unit currently selected as um, cameras one to four. Uh, so if, if any time cameras one to four are on, as I'm doing on the preview bus three four, the green border's on. At the moment I switch to an input that's not allocated, um, the border will go off, indicating nothing's on air. But the moment I say select a, um, one of my four cameras that I've selected on air, it'll go on. And of course if I say select, um, say that camera there on preview, camera one on preview, uh, obviously the red will override, override the, um, the green because it's more important what's on air than what's on preview. But the moment I switch off, one of my cameras, it'll then revert to the next important, which is what's on preview. Now that's just a little aside. Um, just a quick um, introduction on how I got this set up. I've got two um, Blackmagic Studio cameras over there. So we're here. Look, I can get up and walk now in my new location. I've got two Blackmagic Studio cameras there. A little later on, I'll show you um, some magical integration with these cameras, which are um, that one. There's a Sony X3. That's a Sony X1, um, and how I can integrate them um, in the um, uh, in this uh, setup as well. Sorry about the mess, but that's what I'm about. There's uh, the new 4K, 2mm 4K. Um, anyhow, back to the back to the point. We're talking about integration with the um, with the smart scopes. Um, now, the way it uh, the way it works um, in this setup here. I'll quickly, I won't tell you too much about this, but. Um, there's a um, menu driven um, display here and as all I do um, th this is the base menu so as I'm previewing cameras um, you can see here um, I can push the button push the, the iris button and it'll preview the camera I've got this currently set up to um, an ox bus which I can show you here by getting my finger out of the way and showing you they've got it on the on the ox buses here so as I preview cameras, oh, oh, finger locked up. Um, as I preview cameras, you can see it's switching. Um, I've got it selected to Oxx1, but that's all totally programmable in the unit itself. Um, anyhow, over here, um, yeah, I, I can preview cameras, and the way I've got it set up is, is that uh, I've actually got um, the, the Ox one feed going to both monitors, but um, I actually um, have a, a separate monitor up here, which I'm not going to show you in this um, in this demonstration, but I normally when I'm doing CCU work, I have a, a bigger monitor and I normally set this monitor here up to either uh, the output of the multi viewer or I've got a four way split so I can actually see the four cameras that I'm controlling on here 
on the four-way split, so I can always keep an eye on, on especially when you're doing fast-paced football games and that, where the sun's out and in and out and so on, so on and so forth. And how I'm moving off the subject yet again. Um, anyhow, so um, so what I'm, what we're going to talk about here, um, as I said, I can um, um, I can preview the cameras on here um, as as I want. Now, if I want to um, go into um, setting, changing the settings on the smart scope uh, on my controller here, I just push the um, um, push the I call that menu, the menu button, menu northern button, and in here now you can see it's showing me um, the A being the A side. That's the A side. That's the B side. I actually call that left and right, but Black Magic call that the A and B. So I've had to change this now. So that's showing the A. So now it's telling me that um, I'm on the A uh, side to adjust. It's currently selected as Parade RGB, um, and that's showing me the brightness amount. So I can actually vary the brightness amount using this knob, and I can then change the uh, contrast amount using this knob. Now if I actually change this over to, say, Picture, uh, as you can see, there's all the different settings you can go. Now I've got that on Picture. Now you notice this one's come to life. Um, because in picture mode you have the ability to control the saturation of, of that monitor. Now one thing I just didn't show you is see how there's a white border around there? That's actually telling me that I'm actually selecting, and it times out after 15 seconds, but I'm actually s s controlling the A monitor. If I come back here and switch it over to B, you'll see the white border now indicates that I'm now controlling the focus, focus, take my word for it. Oh, hang on, if I touch that, there you go, that fakes it. Um, yeah, so now I'm controlling the B side. So I'll just switch that back to the A side again. And now you see the white board has appeared over there. It's gone off the left, gone to the right. So now, so long as you always know that which monitor you're controlling by the white border, which is, I think, the reason why Blackmagic included that in their, um, in their software protocol. Um, so anyhow, so I can adjust um, any of the uh, levels on the monitor. Uh, again, I'm only using one hand here, so um, we won't go too much into um, into it. Um, so you can see that the value is going down. If you hold your finger on uh, this top right uh, right hand side, it actually does times ten. If I can do it with, yeah, there you go. That's times ten, and you can see over here the value is changing. And at, at any time, uh, focus. At any time, you can um, just hit, just push the button on each knob. And it will um, uh, center it uh, to the, the um, preset normal normal position. Um, with the with, with in picture mode, when you've got the saturation control, if you push and hold um, the uh, the button, it will actually turn it to mono. So you turn, now you can see that monitor is in mono um, because sometimes you need to see things in mono if you want to do really accurate CC control. And of course, if I just click it again once to, without holding it down it'll turn it back to um, preset uh, color which which are the preset values on the on the setting and that um, so anyhow so here we are focus um, so I can uh, control all the different variations there's the waveform um, and as I turn the knob come back here or maybe you come over here and see it and focus and then um, as you can see, I'm only controlling the left-hand monitor. Vector scope, uh, that's vector scope 75%. Um, there's um, Parade RGB, Parade YUV for all your component freaks. Um, and um, histogram, these, these are all the settings that are available on, on the smart scope. Um, and now audio, um, which is uh, audio DB, full scale. Uh, the other setting is audio uh, dbvu. Um, now, with um, audio, there's a bug actually in the in the SmartScope software. I've got to let them know about it. Sometimes the audio doesn't show on on the VUs, but it does on the full scale. Um, and it's not my software, funny enough, for change. Um, anyhow, so now when you when you select any of the audios, you'll notice that um, this middle value has come to life, which means you can then uh, change the audio channels um, that are being monitored. Focus the audio channels that have been monitored. 
Okay, if you don't want to focus, I don't care. Uh, on the um, on the um, audio vector, um, obviously you'll always see, it, but that's all the function of the smart scope, so I won't go in there. Um, yeah, so there's all the controls, and of course if I go over to B, um, the border shows up showing that I'm on there, uh, and then again I can do the same thing. I can switch um, what are the values, and you know, sometimes people, let me just go back over to A, sometimes people like working in, uh, if you're old fashioned like me, um, we never had parades in the early days of television, where I came from, so we used to have waveform monitors. Um, and, and mostly our uh, test sets were a waveform monitor and a vector scope. Um, and if you come from the black and white days, you didn't even have a vector scope. Um, so, so that's that's one of the settings uh, over here. Let me just now put the go back to B again, and now I can just um, change that back to picture. Um, for for some reason, I think it's a function of the the um, smart scope is you can't put audio on the left left side. Um, see, I've selected audio there, but it's just blank. I don't know whether I should just, um, in the software, just stop that ability or whether they'll eventually give you that ability to put audio on the right side. Maybe somebody can confirm with me that that's in fact a function of the smart scope, but I haven't been able to do it either on their control panel or on, um, on this control panel. Um, anyhow, so um, basically that, um, that concludes my quick introduction to um, the CCU controller. Um, my four camera CCU controller uh, in conjunction with um, the SmartScope Duo and there's my fade to black.